The Kamkatka Peninsula is a 1,250-kilometer peninsula in the Russian Far East, with an area of about 270,000 km2. It lies between the Pacific Ocean to the east and the Sea of Wakutsk to the west. Immediately offshore along the Pacific coast of the peninsula runs the 10,500-meter-deep Kurila Euro Kamkatka Trench. The Kamkatka Peninsula, the Commander Islands, and Karajinsky Island constitute the Kamkatka Cry of the Russian Federation. The vast majority of the 322,079 inhabitants are Russians, but there are also about 8,743 Karayaks. More than half of the population lives in Petropavlovsk Kamkatsky and nearby Yelitsevo. The Kamkatka Peninsula contains the volcanoes of Kamkatka, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Kamkatka receives up to 2,700 mm of precipitation per year. The summers are moderately cool, and the winters tend to be rather stormy though rarely producing lightning. Geography Politically, the peninsula forms part of Kamkatka Krai. The southern tip is called Cape Lopatka. The circular bay to the north of this on the Pacific side is Avaka Bay with the capital, Petropavlovsk Kamkatsky. North up the Pacific side, the four peninsulas are called Shaipunsky Point, Kronitsky Point, Kamkatsky Point and Oznoy Point. North of Oznoy is the large Karajinsky Bay, which features Karajinsky Island. Northeast of this lies Korfa Bay with the town of Tulichki. On the opposite side is the Shilakov Gulf. The Kamkatka or Central Range forms the spine of the peninsula. Along the southeast coast runs the Vostochny or Eastern Range. Between these lies the Central Valley. The Kamkatka River rises northwest of Avaka and flows north down the Central Valley, turning east near Klyuchy to enter the Pacific south of Kamkatsky Point at Ust Kamkatsk. In the 19th century a trail led west from near Klyuchy over the mountains to the Tagal River and town which was the main trading post on the west coast. North of Tagal is Karayak Okrug. South of the Tagal is the Aisha River. Just south of the headwaters of the Kamkatka, the Bistrya River curves southwest to enter the Sea of Wakutsk at Bolshritsk, which once served as a port connecting the peninsula to Wakutsk. South of the Bistrya flows the Golijina River. There is a road from Bolshritsk to Petropavlovsk and another from this road up the central valley to Ost Kamkatsk. The northern end of the road is of poorer quality. Apart from the two roads, transport is by small plane, helicopter, four-wheel drive truck and army truck. The obvious circular area in the central valley is the Klyukovskaya Sopka, an isolated volcanic group southeast of the curve of the Kamkatka River. West of Kronitsky Point is the Kronitsky Biosphere Reserve with the Valley of Geysers. At the southern tip is the southern Kamkatka Wildlife Refuge with Kural Lake. There are several other protected areas, Pilana is located in the Karayak area on the northwest coast. Climate Although Kamkatka lies at similar latitudes to Great Britain, cold Arctic winds from Siberia combined with a cold Uyashio Sea current see the peninsula covered in snow from October to late May. Under the CAR paragraph PPEN climate classification Kamkatka generally has a subarctic climate but higher and more northerly areas have a polar climate. Kamkatka is much wetter and milder than eastern Siberia, and is essentially transitional from the hypercontinental climate of Siberia and Manchuria to the rain-drenched subpolar oceanic climate of the Aleutian Islands. There is considerable variation, however, between the rain-drenched and heavily glaciated east coast and the drier and more continental interior valley. In the heavily glaciated Kronitsky Peninsula, where maritime influences are most pronounced, annual precipitation can reach as high as 2,500 mm, whilst the southeast coast south of Petropavlovsk Kamkatsky generally receives around 1,350 mm of rainfall equivalent per year. Considerable local variations exist, Southern parts of the Petropavlovsk Kamkatsky metropolitan area can receive as much as 430 mm more than the northern part of the city. Temperatures here are very mild, with summer maxima no higher than 15 AA degrees Celsius and winter lows around 8 AA degrees Celsius, whilst diurnal temperature ranges seldom exceed 5 ESHC due to persistent fog on exposed parts of the coast. 
south of 57 ESHN there is no permafrost due to the relatively mild winters and heavy snow cover, whilst northward discontinuous permafrost prevails. The west coastal plain has a similar climate, though rather drier with precipitation ranging from 880 mm in the south to as little as 430 mm in the north, where winter temperatures become considerably colder at around a 20 AA degree Celsius. The interior valley of the Kamkatka River, represented by Klyuchi, has much lower precipitation, and significantly more continental temperatures, reaching 19 AA degrees Celsius on a typical summer day and during extreme cold winter spells falling as low as a 41 AA degree Celsius. Sporadic permafrost prevails over the lower part of this valley, but it becomes more widespread at higher altitudes and glaciers and continuous permafrost prevails north of 55 ESHN. The summer months, when maximum temperatures range from 15 to 20 AA degrees Celsius, are popular with tourists, but a growing trend in winter sports keeps tourism pulsing year-round. The volcanoes and glaciers play a role in forming Kamkatka's climate, and hot springs have kept alive dozens of species decimated during the last ice age. Geology, Earthquakes and Volcanoes the Kamkatka River and the surrounding central side valley are flanked by large volcanic belts containing around 160 volcanoes, 29A of them still active. The peninsula has a high density of volcanoes and associated volcanic phenomena, with 19 active volcanoes included in the six UNESCO World Heritage List sites in the volcanoes of Kamkatka Group, most of them on the Kamkatka Peninsula which is considered the most volcanic area of the Eurasian continent with many active cones. The Kamkatka Peninsula is very hyperactive and is also known as the land of fire and ice. The highest volcano is Klyukovskaya Sopka, the largest active volcano in the northern hemisphere, while the most striking is Kronitsky. Volcanologists Robert and Barbara Decker regard its perfect cone as a prime candidate for the world's most beautiful volcano. Somewhat more accessible are the three volcanoes visible from Petropavlovsk Kamkatsky, Koryakskai, Avakinsky, and Kozilsky. In the center of Kamkatka is Eurasia's world famous Giza Valley, which was partly destroyed by a massive mudslide in June 2007. Owing to the Kuril Kamkatka Trench, deep focus seismic events and tsunamis occur fairly commonly. A pair of megathrust earthquakes occurred off the coast on October 16, 1737, and on November 4, 1952, with magnitudes of 9.3 and 8.2 respectively. A chain of more shallow earthquakes were recorded as recently as April 2006. These volcanic features are the site of occurrence of certain extremophile microorganisms that can survive in extremely hot environments. History and Exploration when Russian explorer Ivan Moskvitin reached the Sea of Wakutsk in 1639, further exploration was impeded by the lack of skills and equipment to build sea-going ships and by the harsh land to the northeast inhabited by the warlike Karayak people. Kamkatka was, consequently, entered from the north. In 1651, after having assisted in the foundation of the Anadisk Ostrog, Explorer Mikhail Stadukin went south and followed the coast of the Sea of Wakutsk from Penzana Bay to Wakutsk. From about 1667 there were reports of a Kamkatka River to the south. Sometime before 1700 a group of Russians were stranded and died on Kamkatka. In 1695 explorer Vladimir Atlasov was made commander of Anadisk. In 1696 he sent the Cossack Luka Marotsko south. Marotsko got as far as the Tigil River and returned with reports and some mysterious writings, probably Japanese. In 1697-1699 Atlasov explored nearly the whole of the peninsula. He built an Ostrog at Bukhne Kamkatsk and rescued or captured a Japanese castaway and went to Moscow to report. In 1699 the Russians at Bukhne Kamkatsk were killed by the Karayaks on their way back to Anadisk. The 1700 punitive expedition destroyed a Karayak village and founded Nizhny Kamkatsk on the lower river. Volskoritsk was founded in 1703. From about 1705 there was a breakdown of order. There were numerous mutinies and native wars all over the peninsula and north to the Karayak country of the Penzina River and Olutorsky Gulf. Several people were sent out to restore order, 
including Atlasov who was murdered in 1711. Some degree of order was restored by Vesely Merlin in 1733-39. There was no significant resistance after 1756. A major smallpox epidemic that hit in 1768-69 quickly decimated the native population. The roughly 2,500 Atelmens present in 1773 were reduced to 1,900 in 1820, from an original population of 12 a Euro 25,000. Those who survived adopted Russian customs and there was a great deal of intermarriage so that Kamchadol, the original Russian name for the Atelmens, came to mean any Russian or part Russian born on the peninsula. In 1713 Peter the Great sent shipbuilders to Wokutsk. A 54-foot boat was built and sailed to the Tagil River in June 1716. This one-week journey, later shifted to wakutsk bolsaritsk became the standard route to Kamkatka. In 1720 Kamkatka and the Kurils were mapped by Ivan Yavrinov. Danish explorer Vitus Bering left NEZHE Kamkatsk for his first voyage in 1728 and, as part of his second voyage, he founded Petropavlovsk Kamkatsky in 1740. Vitus Bering's second Kamkatka expedition, in the service of the Russian Navy, began the final opening of Kamkatka, helped by the fact that the government began to use the area to exile people. In 1755, Stepan Krashnikov published the first detailed description of the peninsula, an account of the land of Kamkatka. The Russian government encouraged the commercial activities of the Russian-American company by granting land to newcomers on the peninsula. By 1812, the indigenous population had fallen to less than 3,200, while the Russian population had risen to 2,500. In 1854, the French and British, who were battling Russian forces on the Crimean Peninsula, attacked Petropavlovsk Kamkatsky. During the siege of Petropavlovsk, 988 men with a mere 68 guns managed to defend the outpost against six ships with 206 guns and 2,540 French and British soldiers. Despite the heroic defense, Petropavlovsk was abandoned as a strategic liability after the French and British forces withdrew. The next year when a second enemy force came to attack the port, they found it deserted. Frustrated, the ships bombarded the city and withdrew. Your next 50 years were lean ones for Kamkatka. The naval port was moved to Ostomer and in 1867 Alaska was sold to the United States, making Petropavlovsk obsolete as a transit point for traders and explorers on their way to the American territories. In 1860, a Primorsky region was established and Kamkatka was placed under its jurisdiction. In 1875, the Kuril Islands were ceded to Japan in return for Russian sovereignty over Sorkhalin Island. The Russian population of Kamkatka stayed around 2,500 until the turn of the century, while the native population increased to 5,000. During the 19th century, scientific exploration of the peninsula continued, with Karl von Dittmer making an important journey there in 1851 1851–1854. World War II hardly affected Kamkatka except for its service as a launch site for the invasion of the Kurils in late 1945. After the war, Kamkatka was declared a military zone. Kamkatka remained closed to Russians until 1989 and to foreigners until 1990. Terrestrial flora, Kamkatka boasts abundant flora. The variable climate promotes different flora zones where tundra and muskegua dominant succeeded by grasses, flowering shrubs and forests of pine, birch, alder and willow. The wide variety of plant forms spread throughout the peninsula promotes just as wide a variation in animal species that feed off them. Although Kamkatka is mostly tundra, deciduous and coniferous trees are abundant and forests can be found throughout the peninsula. Terrestrial and Aquatic Fauna Kamkatka boasts diverse and abundant wildlife. This is due to climates ranging from temperate to subarctic, diverse topography and geography, many free-flowing rivers, proximity to highly productive waters from the northwestern Pacific Ocean and the Bering and Wakutsk Seas, and to the low human density and minimal development. It also boasts the southernmost expanse of Arctic tundra in the world. 
commercial exploitation of marine resources and a history of fur trapping has taken its toll on several species. Kamkatka is famous for the abundance and size of its brown bears. In the Kronitsky Nature Preserve there are estimated to be three to four bears per 100 square kilometers. Other fauna of note include carnivores such as tundra wolf, arctic fox anida fox, east siberian lynx, wolverine, sable, eurasian otter, east siberian stoat and siberian least weasel. The peninsula hosts habitat for several large ungulates including the Kamkatka snow sheep, reindeer, and Shukotka moose one of the largest moose in the world and the largest in Eurasia. And rodents leporids, including mountain hare, marmot, and several species of lemming and squirrel. The peninsula is the breeding ground for Stella's sea eagle, one of the largest eagle species, along with the golden eagle and guide falcon. Kamkatka contains probably the world's greatest diversity of salmonid fish, including all six species of anadromous Pacific salmon. Due to its uniquely suitable environment, biologists estimate that a fifth of all Pacific salmon originates in Kamkatka. Kuril Lake is recognized as the biggest spawning ground for sake in Eurasia. In response to pressure from poaching and to worldwide decreases in salmon stocks, some 24,000 square kilometers along nine of the more productive salmon rivers are in the process of being set aside as a nature preserve. Stickleback species, particularly Gasterosteus acleatus and Pungitius pungitius, also occur in many coastal drainages, and are likely present in fresh water as well. Cetaceans that frequent the highly productive waters of the northwestern Pacific and the Wakatsk Sea include, orcas, daws and harbor porpoises, humpback whales, sperm whales and fin whales. Less frequently, gray whales, the critically endangered North Pacific right whale and bowhead whale, beaked whales and mink whales are encountered. Blue whale are known to feed off of the southeastern shelf in summer. Among pinnipeds, Stella's sea lions, northern fur seals, spotted seals and harbor seals are abundant along much of the peninsula. Further north, Walruses and bearded seals can be encountered on the Pacific side, and ribbon seals reproduce on the ice of Karajinsky Bay. Sea otters are concentrated primarily on the southern end of the peninsula. Seabirds include northern fulmars, thick and thin billed murrays, kittiwakes, tufted and horned puffins, red faced, pelagic, and other cormorants, and many other species. Typical of the northern seas, the marine fauna is likewise rich. Of commercial importance are Kamkatka crab, scallop, squid, pollock, cod, herring, halibut, and several species of flatfish. See also Korean Airlines Flight 007, Maritime Fur Trade, references. Further reading Gled Hill, Diana, Kamkatka, A Journal and Guide to Russia's Land of Ice and Fire, Hong Kong, Odyssey Books. ISBN A 978-962-217-780-2A External links, Kamkatka Travel Guide from Waikiki Voyage, UNESCO World Heritage Site Profile, Information about Kamkatka Peninsula and Traveling There